I just got here. I've been hiking all day. Give me a second. to the channel. I'm here at the uh, Ellicott Rock where the uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina and Georgia meet into one tri little point. Never been camping here. Figured I'd come here and test out the new gear I have. I'm going to be doing two videos today. One about the Ellicott Rock, what you can do see, see here, and then I'm going to test my gear that I got for the trip that I'm going to do in about three weeks in the Smoky Mountains. A little bit about the Ellicott Rock. There's three ways you can get here, three trailheads. The way, the way I came, which was the South Carolina way. There's one to the east of me, up in North Carolina, that comes down to this point. And there's one to the west of me that, in North Carolina that comes down to this point. Each point, each trail is about three to four miles long, so it's not that long of a hike, but it is, the terrain is pretty, pretty rugged. We're going to walk around. I'm going to set my camp, well, I don't want to set my camp up. I want to go get some wood and then set my bear line up. And then we're gonna walk around and find these, uh, these rocks that uh, Andrew Ellicott marked to indicate where these points meet. So let me, give me a minute and I'll do that. Everything all set up, guys. We're gonna venture around this Ellicott Rock Park area. We're gonna go see if we can't go find the rock that a surveyor did in like 1811, I think, to indicate the three points meeting in the states of Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Got my tent set up, got my firewood, my bear line is put up over there. So let's go see if we can't find anything. The hikers over here. Let's see if we can't find this rock. But Whoop, whoop, whoop. Jesus. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I know. Like I said that earlier, this trail was pretty rugged. Fallen trees. Get across the river one time. I'm not quite sure where this rock is at. Because when I passed it to get to my campsite, I didn't see it. being rugged. Go through all this just to get to the trail. Ugh. Still looking for the rock. I mean, there's no... Indicators, nothing. I still haven't found this rock. I'm, I'm thinking it's over there on that rock there. But no luck. There's a marker right there. I'm not sure where this rock is at. It looks like they have no markers whatsoever. God damn. Yeah. How about fail? I don't see anything here. Oh, 
there's a oh this is a log you think if they have a point of interest of a rock of a survey where three points three spots of the state meet together they'll have some kind of marker or indicator i don't think i think i passed it to be honest with you i want to head back this way a little bit more check some other stuff out and then come back and see if i can't find it again first i gotta make it over this log all right so i ran into some people that knew where the rock was and it's on that side of the river how I'm gonna get over there, not sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my campsite. I'm gonna pull up my uh, Onyx Backcountry app. Really good app. So you can stay on the trail so you get lost. It has an off map or offline map stuff too so you can use the, the, the app when you're offline also, which is really good. So you know you're staying on the trail and and you're not gonna get lost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that app up and see if there's a trail or a way that I can get across this river, the Chattahooga River. I found the rock, guys, when I was going back to the camp to see if I can go across the river. If you look up here on the trail, there's a tree with a yellow spray paint on it. It has an arrow down. It has a log sitting on the freaking top of the trail. Well, you go down all this, go down there, there's a blue ribbon. And voila, I found the rock. I know it's not, <laughs> I know it's not much, but I was curious but there it is right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. See if I can get any closer, but the river's kind of kind of high today. There it is right there. Yeah, I know, all that for an, an N and a G, sorry. I don't know how well I trust this tree I'm hanging on. All right, all right. I'm going to try to head back up to this damn thing. Yeah. All in all, the trip was good. I would say the uh, the trail that starts in South Carolina on the head coming to Ellicott Rock. It's pretty rough. Uh, there's a lot of trees that are down in it. You have to climb over, do some kind of gymnastic thing. Um, you got to cross the, a creek or a river one time. It's, uh, it's strenuous. Only four miles, and I was it's pretty beat. Morning. Made it through the day. I packed up. I packed up, as you see over there. Um, make sure you... you know, Leave no trace behind. Only thing you see is my footprint. Um, we're going to head back to the car. There is a waterfall back that direction that I skipped on the way in because I wanted to get to the campsite that I'm going to turn in and look at, let y'all see real quick, and then I'm going to head to the car. So until then. All right, guys. Heading back to the car. I told y'all I was going to stop at this waterfall here. I cannot remember the name of the waterfall. I'll put it in the screen. But uh, we're going to get a little closer. There's a little thing that you can get a little closer. So let's go check it out. There is a huge hike to get up to this fall. <laughs> a bunch of switchbacks. All right. Be careful here. Rocks are wet, but
There we go. Waterfall. Turns all down. Back down to the Chattacoota River. But I'm going to head back to my car now. Had to cross the creek to get here. My shoes are soaking wet. Uh, so my feet are freaking cold. So I hope you enjoy watching. Um, go check out the pictures and stuff on my uh, Facebook and Instagram page. I'll put them in the links below. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.